right. Well, I ordered another watch, a couple actually. I'm not sure. I think I know what this is, but I'm not sure. So it's a Nautica. Yes, it is. All right. And this is the one that I think it is. It should be pretty cool. Oh, that box is not in good shape. Something happened here. That's all right. I don't care about the box. Look at that. That is the Nautica Key Biscayne. All right, let's watch this video. All right, guys, so this is the Nautica uh, Key Biscayne. This is a fantastic watch, and I am particularly fond of Nauticas. Of course, when I saw that this was named after a popular area in South Florida, I just absolutely had to buy it. Um, you know, I'm a huge fan of anything South Florida, and particularly in the Miami area. So Key Biscayne has a lot of cool history for South Florida. And if, you know, I, when I moved there as an adult, it was a place that I used to hang out uh, quite a bit. It's uh, just south of um, Miami Beach, and you can take Collins Ave, and you can head on down there through uh, past Virginia Key, which also has a lot of history, which is well known for the... What's it called? The Miami Marine Stadium, which is a really cool stadium that uh, has been in a bunch of movies and it's pretty cool. Um, anyway, the watch comes in a variety of colors and combinations. The one I picked up is the orange and black, which I think is just stunning. And it's in the gunmetal gray. Uh, let's see, for straps, you can also get it with a matching stainless steel strap. Uh, which is also really cool. You know, I think it's a little bit more money. I'm not sure what the MSRP is for that. Um, they're also available in a semi-waterproof leather strap and rubber strap, both of which are also available on the uh, chronograph version of this watch as well. So it's pretty cool. Um, I had lots of chronographs, so I didn't particularly care. Um, I, I was just like, you know what? This just looks cool. I just need something to tell the time. I can't remember the last time I timed anything, so. Uh, let's see, MSRP for this watch. Um, this one, as it sits right here, $140. That's with this with with this watch exactly as it is with the uh, the NATO strap, which, which I really like. The one with the chronograph was about $210. Uh, I, I really kind of emphasize enough how nice this watch looks. I've already taken all the stickers and everything off of that. It's, it's got some weight to it. I'm gonna go ahead and just weigh it right now because it's it's nice. This is not a cheap watch. Um, you know, I know Nautica has a lot of watches that are fairly inexpensive, but you know, this has got some weight to it. This has got some good quality. Look, it's, it's 100, 100 grams. So it is not a cheap watch. It is a good solid size. I'm gonna go ahead and measure it right now too, just since I'm talking about it. Forty-five. We'll say forty-six, and the lug is a solid twenty-two. The depth is thirteen, and the lug to lug is about fifty. Uh, it's it's fantastic, and this NATO strap is excellent too. Um, one of the things you'll notice too, and let me just polish this off because. I got my fingerprints all over it. I know a lot of people get really frustrated when the watch doesn't tick on the dial, but uh, this is pretty fantastic. Like, I, I'm gonna try and, I, I'm gonna put up a video here so that you can actually see it ticking, so you can actually see it hitting the, the indices, but it is pretty fantastic. I mean, for a watch that is basically just the, uh, I mean, it, the Nauticas are a fashion watch, right? They make clothes. Um, so the fact that their watches are as good as they are, it's not like Kenneth Cole, which, you know, I have shoes, pants, whatever. I don't know. My wife has pur purses from them. This is, this is decent. Um, it is hundred meter water resistance, uh, which is 
fantastic. That's all you ever need going to the beach. Um, you're, you know, you're, you could even do some light scuba diving in it. 100 meters is pretty far down. Like I've said before many times, it's the length of a football field, at least a high school one. Um, you know, that's, what is that? 16th, 18th of a mile? I don't know. I know 1600 meters. Yeah, so I guess 16th of a mile. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's not bad. It also has a screw down crown, which is fantastic. Um, and another thing that I thought was interesting is that everything seems to, to line up as it should, which is really cool. I mean, look at that. Even the crown, this, this li li lines up vertically. Um, this, I'm going to take this off because I really do think you guys need to see it, which I, just the quality for something like this is just fantastic. This is as tight as I can make it. I'm, I'm really, I'm a stickler for making sure that the, the case backs uh, really seat properly. And look, it's perfect. It, it, it's like this, this was at maximum tightness and everything is equidistant. This is for people with OCD. This watch, fantastic quality, gunmetal gray. I mean, you could, you could wear this, guarantee it's gonna get a little bit marred and stuff, which, you know, it's what it is, but what a fantastic watch. Um, let's see, what else can I say about? So the movement, it is an Epson, VX 62A, I can't remember, it. it's it's all up there, but you'll see. <clears throat> I was a little surprised, uh, you know, it's it's a decent movement, but I was really expecting something, I guess a little bit higher quality. I, let me correct myself. It's not low quality, um, but it's, you know, it, it's not like a, it's not like a Swiss uh, Ronda movement. It's just your run of the mill Japanese, uh, good quality. Um, it's like a PC 28. 28A or whatever it is. Um, it just does what it does, and that's that. Um, it's basically a, a ladies' watch movement, um, which I see quite often. Really, that's all you need. It's got a very large battery. This 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 movement with this battery combination will last six years. Um, this one's actually been sitting around for a while. I did not change the battery when I opened it up, but uh, I probably it, it probably still has. You know, it, it had the crown pulled, so it does hack. Um, I probably have at least a couple years uh, left, even though this thing is still a current model, but there aren't very, very many of them left. Uh, I, I don't think they're making any more. It's just sort of what, what's, uh, what surplus is left, but still absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and check out the loom because that's one of my favorite parts. Oh, I didn't even realize I have a, uh, I have a coat, a, the, the rubber coating on there. I guess it wasn't even shiny. Here we go. All right, look at that. All the indices light up too. This is, this is fantastic. Nothing on the, on the, um, uh, what's it called? There's no pip. So nothing on the, the bezel, but that's okay. Um, I'll count this later, but this does not move. Okay. So it's, it's not a dive watch. That is just for the look. That's okay, it's still a tachyometer, that's fine. Um, I guess that's about all I can say about this watch, but it is fantastic, it fits an eight inch wrist, and I'll put it on myself so you can see. And just so you can see, the buckle also has Nautica um, on there as well. But uh, it looks good, I like it. This is a solid watch. I don't know that I've got any black and, black and orange clothes that this fits with, but if I'm wearing black, Maybe I got some more somewhere on my shoes. This will look good. We're just going to the beach. So, all right. If you like this watch, please like and subscribe. Tell me what you think. Uh, I'm going to have to get all the watches that are named after Florida places. So, you know, don't blame me. All right. See you guys.